welcome to another episode of Project Tours. We are standing inside a recently completed model home. This model home was designed for Mosaic Homes, a well-known home builder here in Vancouver. And this project is one of two model homes that the House of Bond team designed for their Bonson project, which is a townhouse project in Pitt Meadows. This two bedroom, two bathroom townhome is just over a thousand square feet. It's complete with a kitchen, dining room, living room, and it also has a sizable two car garage. On the main floor, which is where we're standing, we have 10 foot high ceilings. So that's a really nice feature of these homes is that you get really great ceiling height. That also gives you a really nice canvas to work with. When we were thinking about our design approach for styling and furnishing this home, we really wanted to create a very distinct look. My design goal was to ensure that the two townhomes feel completely different from one another. And there's a few reasons for this. First, I want prospective buyers who are visiting the sales center and touring the model homes to see, imagine, and understand how they might use the space themselves. For example, how furniture could be laid out, or how paint might transform the mood of a space, or how decor could be used. Well, prospective buyers can then easily imagine themselves living in these homes. Second, I also wanted to ensure that there's a cohesive design direction and a distinct design narrative in these homes. We knew that the two bedroom, two bathroom unit would appeal to young professionals. So we really wanted to create a design scheme that would speak to a young couple buyer demographic in Pitt Meadows. In order to do that, we came up with the idea of a young couple that lives in this space. This couple is outdoorsy, they love to camp and hike and do road trips. They're also really into photography, especially landscape photography. And with that, we also wanted to include a really laid back vibe in our design. So you've got lots of wood, lots of Scandinavian references. The space has a lot of natural materials and tons of greenery to finish it off. Our design scheme for this home includes an earthy palette of forest greens, natural wood tones, and deeper neutral tones like a dark brown leather, and then textures like the beautiful grass cloth wall covering. That color combination creates a space that is really warm, has tons of character, but definitely feels like it's referencing the outdoors. Let's kick off this home tour by showing you this incredible millwork unit. This was a big design feature and a jumping off point for the entire design. To really lean into our design concept that is nature inspired and really designed for a young couple that loves the outdoors, we wanted to play with our millwork finish and include something that's very unique. So we decided to use this oak rotary cut millwork. The rotary cut wood is what gives it this incredible grain. There's tons of texture in the wood. And then because we used a red oak, once it was stained, you automatically get a really warm undertone when it comes to this millwork piece. It does really feel very nature inspired because of this wood grain. This is the first time we've done something like this, and this is definitely not something that you see very often. It's something completely unique and different, and that's what House of Bond is all about. We're always trying to push the envelope. 
To create a big feature and a focal point for the living room space, we wanted this millwork piece to set the tone so it takes up the entire space of the wall, but of course, it's super functional. We've got our TV here, we've got storage down below, we deliberately decided not to go with any hardware because we're going for a really clean, almost a Scandinavian aesthetic, but with a really interesting material. And then, of course, we've got an opportunity for storage or display, and the millwork is flanked by some really beautiful landscape photography. This millwork unit sets the tone for the rest of the space. Opposite the millwork piece, we have our living room furniture. Now, this represents our entire design scheme. Because we have a millwork unit that has so much character, we really needed to balance that out with this dark colored wall. So we painted this accent wall in this beautiful green and then layered landscape photography, outdoor photography on top. Here's a little thing that you might not notice unless I pointed it out, but all of the photography and artwork in this home has been framed in exactly the same frame. So we've got a white frame, a white mat, and what that does is it lets the photography really speak for itself. You get to see the photography without really noticing the frames, and that was done very strategically. This sofa is a custom design by the House of Bond team. What I love about this sofa is that it has scale. It's a nice, simple piece, but it's a large enough piece to fit this space. The leather is a warm brown, and then this is paired with natural wood tones and then light accents like this light area rug and then really natural fabric and light colored pillows. We left enough room to have a lamp for some extra lighting and some more greenery. This combination is what you'll see throughout the rest of the space. To continue that continuity between the dining room and living room spaces, we also carried the dark green paint color into the dining room as an accent wall. This makes the two spaces feel really unified and you'll also notice that the custom buffet is in the same rotary cut red oak that we used for our big TV unit in the living room. The dining table and chairs are really simple, clean lines, but natural wood. The chandelier selected for the dining room is a really modern piece. And then we've just layered on top of that with a few select dishes, some candles, we have a little bit of a bar, and what's really giving the space a lot of character and a lot of life is the greenery. This is an absolute must, and the addition of the greenery just makes such a big impact, especially in a space with all of these neutral, earthy tones. This townhouse scheme has a very clean and white kitchen. What I love about the simplicity of this kitchen is that it's open and it feels expansive with the tall ceilings and natural light flooding in. Because the kitchen is all white, it's also very simple but elegant, and it serves as a great backdrop for any styling and decor that a homeowner might want to add. In this case, I layered the kitchen with simple yet effective styling elements like two understated natural wood stools, some cookbooks, some wood toned cooking utensils, and a few cooking oils just to finish off the space. So let's go upstairs. What I love about the master bedroom is that it is super cozy and it's layered in warm, natural tones that really play off the wood that we've used throughout the entire home. To create a really elevated decor scheme, we decided to use a grass cloth and apply it to all four walls in the space. The grass cloth has a beautiful texture. It has almost a slightly iridescent quality to it and it has a really lovely oatmeal color. It's warm, but it's still neutral at the same time. And then we paired that with these beautiful drapes. 
These shears have a lovely texture to them. They're also in this light oatmeal tone, almost an ivory color, but the texture gives these drapes just a little added character. One of the pieces that I'm especially excited about in this space is the custom headboard. This headboard was designed to go wall to wall in behind the bed, but it also wraps on the adjacent walls and is completely upholstered. So you get this really nice soft headboard that really is a feature headboard in the master bedroom. I also love that it's got this textural, again, light colored, neutral tone, which correlates really really nicely with the wallpaper. We're just playing on textures here that are in the same tones and that's one way to really achieve a very layered look in a space. A unique feature of this headboard is also the built-in lighting. This has been designed to integrate right into the headboard and you can tell that this is very, very custom. Design elements like this really give a room a customized and polished finish. To finish off the master bedroom, we incorporated some unique side tables. These side tables are in a black finish. They have a caning material to the drawers. It just adds another layer of character in the space. And last but not least is we've got some great linens on the bed. Again, these linens are in the same oatmeal neutral tones that you're seeing throughout the room. But what's great about this is that it gives it a really casual but sophisticated feeling at the same time. It feels lived in and that's exactly what we wanted to achieve with this master bedroom. Moving into the master ensuite. To create impact that's subtle, we chose to use a really beautiful wallpaper. The wallpaper feels modern. The tones are very similar to the grass cloth in the adjacent master bedroom. Then we layered that wallpaper with some great landscape photography, of course, and a few styling elements like towels, shampoo, and soaps. Overall, it just creates a beautiful master ensuite that goes perfectly with the master bedroom. The second bathroom was designed with versatility in mind. I really like space plans that have a secondary bedroom area with an adjacent bathroom. Because this is a two bedroom, two bathroom unit, the secondary bathroom would be one of the most frequently used spaces. Even if the homeowner was entertaining and that was just for the evening or whether that was for a longer overnight stay, it would definitely be used very frequently. We chose to use a paint color that's very similar to the dark green paint color downstairs, except for this tone is much lighter. It's almost a pastel version of what you're seeing downstairs. That helps keep both levels feeling really cohesive and they correlate nicely with one another. And then of course, you got it, some more landscape photography. The last space in the home is the secondary bedroom. You'll see our rotary cut red oak as part of the headboard. A special detail about this headboard is that it was designed with a nice little ledge so that it could be used for more landscape photography that you see throughout the hall. This helps to really showcase our design direction in all areas of the model home. We included some floating side tables that are made from the same material. And then the bed is layered with beautiful white and light green linens, which again, just correlates so nicely with everything that's going on in the house. As a last little finishing touch, we included a custom bench below the window. This is just a really nice spot where you could kick back, look outside, take advantage of the natural light, and it just creates a really cozy vibe in the second bedroom. Last but not least, let's talk about the two-car garage. This spacious two-car garage has been decorated to emphasize our design direction, which is really inspired by a young outdoorsy couple. We placed a tent on one end of the garage to convey the camping outdoorsy lifestyle that this homeowner might have. And we designed a pegboard shelving system in the same red oak material that you see throughout the entire home. 
By outfitting the garage, I've ensured that our design scheme is cohesive in every corner of this model home. I'm so curious to know what your favorite aspect is of this home, so please leave us a comment down below. And if you're interested in seeing more about this project, go to houseabon.com. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in our next project tour.